Hi, I'm John Emmett, author of Be Your Own Sailing Coach. Here we're going to give you lots of top tips and help you with what to do in difficult tactical situations. When you're ready to come in, the first thing you need to do is to release the main sheet. So you simply undo the figure of eight in the main sheet at the back. This is why it's important to do a figure of eight because it can easily be undone. You pull the main sheet all the way through so the sail now flaps and you're now going to come into the slipway nice and slowly. If you need to go a bit faster you can always pull on the boom to sheet in. As you approach the slipway just lift your foils, centre board first and also the rudder. You can then get out when the water's an appropriate depth. Make sure the boat is properly put on the trolley and that the front is securely tied down before you pull the boat up the slipway. When you come off the water, make sure you wash the boat down well to remove any salt. And as you de-rig, just check all the fittings and the ropes for any wear or tear. Make sure you do any boat work as soon as possible. Don't leave it until the morning before your race. All the sail controls can now be easily undone. And the mast can be lifted out and the sail placed on the floor to make it easier to de-rig. You now de-rig in the opposite order to the way you rigged. Make sure you securely tie all the sail controls away to make sure there's no twists and that you don't lose anything. By de-rigging on the floor, you prevent wear and tear to the sail which could be up and flapping. To look after your sail, make sure that it's always rolled around a tube. You really don't want to be folding your sail unless you absolutely have to. The sail should be dry and clean and kept on the tube. As you pack away, check the boat for any wear and tear. Check the mast is still straight. Coil the main sheet up to make sure any knots are removed and so you have a tangle free main sheet to sail the next day. Make sure you pull the tiller straight out. The tiller should be a tight fit in the rudder stock but you shouldn't wiggle it up and down to remove it as this will wear the tiller. Just pull it straight out. Check that the centre board is straight and the sound out any small imperfections. Finally, thoroughly wash the boat to remove any dirt from the water. You can also thoroughly check the boat to see if there's any damage that is going to need repairing. Okay, thank you for watching, and uh, there's plenty more top tips in my book, Be Your Own Sailing Coach and all the other books from Wiley Nautical.